My name is uh, Søren Johansen, and I'm from the Danish Lok Byggepladen. And this is my newest new classic space layout, where we have a base and a big re rocket truck. And um, starting with this one here is different kind of styles and techniques and different spaceships. The landing pads is built like a fan with the wedge plates going around in quarter of a circle. Um, otherwise, a lot of details and not so much functionality itself, it's just a landing tower. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I built it over the last three or four months, just a little by little, deciding how tall it should be and uh, raising the platforms. Normally the platforms were lower, but I raised it about 10 stars more. So you can get a good view underneath to see how it's built and the surface details. Mm -hmm. um, nice greebling all on the tower there as well, some oh. nice details and stuff. Yeah, I like to, to of course you have, need to have the greeble style techniques going on. Um, early on when I start you building this kind of stuff, I would over greeble it. But I kind of mellow it down to see that it's not necessary actually, especially on spaceships, it can be a little too much. Mm -hmm. They've uh, small digits and all that, it's, it's not so necessary uh, all, the, all the time. Of course you need to have some old spaceships in, in, your, in your fleet that is like, let's say from the 50s and you have some newer stuff like it's today, so you see the transition on the design as well. Um, so yeah, details is important. Do you have a favorite spaceship of the ones you have here? Yeah, actually, but it, it's, a, it's in the background, uh, it's not so, but I can take it out. This one here is one of my favorites, uh, especially because of the, of the wing design. Uh, how it's it's put together with the old classic space wings piece, and then I kind of angled it out using uh, hinge bricks to get from a, a small body to a wide body in the back. And using the the wings to put in here, you can see the wings are wide in the back and they narrow down to the front. But it kind of looked like it's uh, in a tech position mode, <laughs> whatever you call it. A fighter there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. And the new cockpit from uh, the Batman uh, sets. So whenever there's a new trans yellow piece, I have to get it. Like the new Star Wars set that came recently with the resistant, resistance escape part. Mm -hmm. It has a brand new trans yellow uh, window part in a new, uh, in new uh, shape as well. So I have to get some of those. <laughs> It works really well for that. Oh, so yeah. then we transition over to th this beast over oh, yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, this thing is just so massive. It really dwarfs the, the minifigs inside there. Oh yeah, the, the, the all-terrain dual rocket, rocket launcher, as I call it, is, um, is an uh, interpretation of two classic, not space sets, but close to. Uh, the rocket part is... Um, redesigned by the old classic space set they had the rocket launcher and um, the cockpit front is inspired by the Mtron mega core magnetizer mm -hmm. which had only just one big window but I scaled it up to, to two so I put those two sets together and designed my own new classic space rocket launcher um, and it, it was quite a challenge because I never built a truck like this before only spaceships and bases and so on. So, and I was inspired. I have to give uh, kudos to uh, to Chris Perrin for inspiring me to build the wheels, because some years back he did the same with the the Ice Planet 2002 theme, where he he did, did master designed the wheel uh, assembly construction and so on. So I took that idea and put in some some brand new details and my own idea to it and. Uh, yeah, then I just went nuts to build the truck. <laughs> <laughs> What's the structure like inside this thing? Does everything stay together pretty well? Yeah, it's a, it's just a Technic frame uh, in, in the two pieces from the front to the back uh, using the the 6x8 Technic frame brick uh, to get the 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 width and the, the depth of uh, the inside body. And from there on, I just start building up. I, I had the, the body and then I set on the wheels and the wheels is, they only attached on each side by one axle pin. And it, so it's, it's a bit risky to lift it. It can't be done, but I have to be sure that the wheels are close to the body. Mm -hmm. um, so when I had the wheels on the, the Technic frame, I could see how high I have to build to be able to 
to build out again from each side and and uh, to meet the the mod guards and so on. Um, and from there on, I start building the cockpit section and and see how because I wanted to be angled. And the best way was to use magnets, as you can see in here. It's only a test by two magnets. Um, and then, of course, when you angle it down like this, you get the gaps on the side. You have to close up as as good as you can. So I snorted up width plates in different sizes and, and length and so on to, to narrow the gap so I, it could get so close to the edge of the underside of the cockpit. So the only gap that was left I could fit in using these hoses in <laughs> special ways to, to avoid as much gap as, as possible. Very impressive and talk about the landscaping here as well, yeah. you went with the very smooth kind of look. The landscape is the, the newest idea I came up with because uh, some time ago I went th through my, my old instructions and I realized that the background on the instructions as well as on the boxes were a tan landscape. And I thought that could be the next idea to neoclassic space. So actually you can see that you have like, you imagine this picture was and with the landscape in a, a upcoming set or in the new catalog and so on. So you get the, the same feeling as it was in the old day, having everything updated as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, I think the whole layout turned out really great. So does it break down into sections when you set oh, yeah. this up? It, it's, it's modular on, um, on standard base plates. Uh, so it's 20, 24 modules and um, the snorted front part here where you have the like the desert sand mm -hmm. variations is uh, of course uh, uh, slopes snorted in, in different ways and those are just parts I can take off bits here and there and, and then remember to put it in the normal lineup again. Um, but it, it was quite quite challenging to, to make it look like it was in like say Saudi Arabia desert kind of feeling because it's, it, it, it shouldn't be like a rocky surface because that will be steady. But sand will always flow around and uh, so it's just like it looks now. <laughs>